Hey and welcome. Let's start. What is appendicitis? In short, appendicitis is the inflammation of the appendix. It's a clinical emergency. The signs and symptoms are very inconsistent. The classical case of appendicitis includes anorexia, periumbilical pain followed by nausea, right lower quadrant pain and vomiting. But this classical story only occurs in 50% of cases. Diarrhea or constipation only occur in 18% of patients. So, when you suspect appendicitis, which physical findings will you look for? First, rebound tenderness, pain on percussion, rigidity, and guarding. Guarding means that the abdominal wall muscles will tense up to guard inflamed organs within the abdomen from the pain of pressure upon them. In 96% of patients you will find right lower quadrant tenderness, palpate the McBurney point. Which laboratory tests should you order to confirm your diagnosis? Unfortunately, there is no specific test for appendicitis. You should definitely do a CBC, check the CRP levels. Liver and pancreatic function tests may be helpful. A urine analysis is done for differentiating appendicitis from urinary tract conditions. Urinary beta-HCG will help you differentiate appendicitis from early ectopic pregnancy in women. And finally urinary 5-hydroxy and lysetic acid levels will increase significantly in acute appendicitis and decrease when the inflammation shifts to necrosis of the appendix. So, a decrease could be an early warning sign of perforation of the appendix. The most common used imaging studies are ultrasonography and CT scanning. And finally, how will you treat patients with appendicitis? Appendectomy remains the only curative treatment of appendicitis. Emergency care starts by establishing an IV access and administer aggressive crystalloid therapy to patients with clinical signs of dehydration or septicemia. Patients with suspected appendicitis should be kept on NPO, that means no food and fluids until the operation. For patients comfort, parenteral analgesic and antiemetic will be given. Antibiotic prophylaxis should be administered before every appendectomy. Sifotitin and sifoxetin seem to be the best choices of antibiotics. In penicillin allergic patients, carbapenems are a good option. Antibiotic treatment may be stopped when the patient becomes afebrile and the white blood cell count normalizes. And now, a little quiz. First question, what findings do you expect to see on a CBC? Second question, which imaging should you use in pregnant patients if ultrasonography is non-diagnostic? And the third and final question, there are many signs you can test in appendicitis. Do you know any? Thank you for watching.